This game front walkthrough is brought to you by Best Buy. Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront, and this is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This walkthrough will be partly driven by you guys, so if you want to help decide where I go and what I do next, make sure to check out our Facebook page and answer the polls we set up for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my Skyrim walkthrough, and who is that handsome body right there? That's Olaf the Mighty, no longer a vampire. Oh man, it's so good to be able to be in the sun and not have to worry about not having enough health or not regenerating my stamina. Oh, uh, so, uh, we are going to once again continue the main quest. We're on our way to get all the way up to the top of there. That's where, uh, High Hrothgar is. And to get there, you want to go to Iverstead. That's pretty much the, the starting location. Don't try to fast travel to Riverwood and hop up the, the side. I've tried. It does not work very well. Uh, <laughs> You can see the the mountain is pretty steep on this side, but if you go on this side, uh, you'll be able to get on a path that will eventually wind around and lead to the top. Not today. So not that's ready. what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it in fast motion because it's way too long otherwise. So first, I want to equip my I want to equip my my dwarven warhammer. It's so fine. It's so fine. You can kill these frostbite spiders like nothing. And by the way, uh, if you're wondering, oh, is that a bear? It is a bear, isn't it? Oh, I hate bears. I'm a skinful bear. Hey, you can kill me. Am I healing? The number one threat facing the world of Skyrim? Bears! It's my threat down. Oh my god, I'm so tired already. I'm not a vampire anymore. I should have more stamina than this. So, yeah, how are you guys doing? I gotta make some small talk. Unfortunately, Danger isn't here anymore. Uh, not that he's not here with Gamefire anymore. He's just he's at home for the day. Uh, so I can't, you know, banter with him. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm, uh, it's 7 o'clock at night. I should be going home soon, but uh, I feel like I'm so behind on the Skyrim walkthrough. I'm sorry, guys. My, my boss has been making me do these, these uh, housing guides. Because apparently people want to know how to buy a house that they'll never use and spend 3,000 gold on them. Uh, what's up, Barknar? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. If wolves are the only thing I have to watch out for, I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't care. My boss is talking to me on AM. What's he saying? We need to roll those up our players. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Man, you know what the, the, the worst part is? As my, oh my god, the snowy saber cat! That's the worst part. Um, I think I want to make him go away with my unrelenting force. Oh, oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Okay, uh, let's try the battle cry. Uh, let's see, what, what am I looking at? I want magic. There we go. Powers, battle cry. Get the hell away from me. While you're running, how about some fire up your ass? Some days, some nights. Some live, some die by the way of the samurai. Some fight, some bleed, some up, some down, the sun's up a battle cry. A battle cry. Alright, you know what? What, wolves? Really? Ice wolves? Oh, that saber cat is not gonna be running forever. You need to stay away from me, my friend. Uh, let's go with some health. Oh, I hope he's far enough away from me. Oh, catch up! There he is! Oh, you're back! I'm so happy to see you. Get the hell out of here! Wasted all my healing potions on you. Steps are leading up here. I really hope I don't have to run into any more saber cats, just in case though, let's save right here. Oh man. Oh, so as I was saying, before I was really interrupted by that saber cat, um, I have Legend of Zelda, Zelda Skyward Sword right in front of me, but I can't play it. Because I have to play Skyward, which is not a bad thing, let me let me assure you, I love this game. But I really want to play Zelda. You know how it is when you've been waiting for a game for a really long time and you got it. Um, you want to play it right away, but for me, I have to buy a game, put it right in front of me as I'm playing another game. So it's a, it's a sad situation. I wish I had a horse. I wish I had my old save where I had my awesome Dark Brotherhood horse. But for now, I have to hoof it. God, this is exhausting, just watching me climb all these stairs. I bet in the world of Skyrim, if ever someone wanted to just lose some weight, all they had to do was climb, uh, climb this once. Who are you? Yeah? yeah? Did you hear the Greybirds called Dolbachim? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Uh, don't care. Walking no, don't care. Don't care. You should count yourself lucky. I don't introduce you to my hammer. I should probably put this away so I run faster. Oh, why is it such a long trip to get up here? Oh, it's a frost troll. It's a frost troll. Please don't come down here, Mr. Frost Troll. I don't want to deal with you. I'm going to have to deal with you, aren't I? Oh, you are a bad frost troll. Bad, bad frost troll. Yeah. Um, let's get some... Minor healing, flames on both hands. I need my unrelenting shout, or unrelenting fury, whatever it is. 
Close, God, it's a big mountain top. Can't I just like aim my flames, you know, behind me and use them as a thruster to go faster? That's what Iron Man would do. If it makes sense in Iron Man, it should make sense in uh in Skyrim. Just like point my things at point that at the ground and fly right up to the top. Hey, it works in uh, Avatar too, the, the firebenders can do it. If a little twelve year old kid can do it. I think that Olaf the Mikey should be able to do it as well. And I still have my cowl on, I'm gonna get rid of that. Get my helmet, my boots, my gauntlets. I'll probably make it a lot easier to deal with those trolls and saber cats. Well, I think we're almost there. Almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to High Hrothgar. What is up, my friend? So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Taste? You want you want to taste my voice? Um, open your mouth, I guess. Strike us with the pulse of the voice. <laughs> Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? I want to find out what it means to be a... <laughs> I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. I am willing and able when to you learn, shout, sir. You speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word. Unrelenting force. Dro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Ro. Can't you just. Do I really have to look at a word to learn it? Can't you just tell me the word? Learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. 
As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Alright, Master Einarth. Your soul is mine. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new form. What will you have me do? Alright. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Are you guys sure you're okay with this? I don't want to beat you up. Well done. Just put away my hands. Oh, poor Bori. I'm pretty good at holding down the arm, the right bumper for two seconds. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. I don't think you guys fully appreciate the mischief that will be caused from you teaching me these words. Follow Master Bori. All right, Bori. Come on, Bordy. Are we going outside? Let's follow uh, Master Bori. I just want to yell at the sky. Completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Wood. That seems too long for a four-letter word. Feel the power surging through me. I feel like the flash. will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Whoa. So it's basically like uh, Shunpo. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. I can do it, Master. Just give me a chance. So shouts, whirlwind sprint. And go! Sorry, boy. Sorry, Wolfgar. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Um, oh, sorry, I was not paying attention. Uh, thank you. What's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. All right. Uh, oh my God, it's a lot of choices. Uh, don't care. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next episode, we're gonna retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. 
Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.